Hello, family. So I told you guys, this is done. Let me let you guys see this, okay? That's done, okay? That is the vegetable gumbo. And look how rich it looks. See there? See there? That's what you want. That's what you want. That's what you want, okay? That's going to go with the meatloaf, okay? And also, I'm doctoring up those mac and cheese. You see that? So, you remember I told you I was going to find a way to use to to use the rest of that chicken broth? Okay, here it is. I mixed it in with my mac and cheese. And I added more cheese to it. See that? So, we're going to heat that up. That's going to go with, look at all that cheese. Look at all that cheese in there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and, yeah, see there? Yeah. Yeah, buddy. I just took a whole package of cheese and put in there. And so we're going to eat that. And I want you guys to get a good look at this meatloaf. One minute. I'm going to open up the meatloaf. Hold on, let me get my mittens here. And I tasted it, and man, what? Okay, it's good. Okay, I want y'all to get a good look at this. Now that is a meatloaf, look at that. You see that meatloaf? See how it's cooking? See all the juices around that meatloaf? Huh. Five more minutes, that's coming out, okay? Five more minutes, that is coming out, okay? So I know I told you guys it's going to be two parts to this, but it looks like it's going to be three parts. I just wanted you guys to get a good look at the meatloaf. At the food that I'm, the side dishes that I'm preparing to go with this, and how you can quickly, quickly put a meal together for your family. Okay. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I want the rest of this mac and cheese to this cheese to melt into this mac and cheese. Look at that. I want you to look at it. Don't that look good? Look at all that cheesy. It's just cheesy. And you know, I had all, all, I had uh, added heavy cream to this when I initially cooked it. So now, it's ready, okay? And I just took a little chicken broth and kind of brought it back to life a little bit. And that was it. Just a little chicken broth brought it back to life. Okay, and if you don't like to use like chicken broth, like you're not a meat eater, use the vegetable broth. And just add plenty of cheese with it, you know? Look at that. Look how creamy that is. Look how creamy that mac and cheese is. Okay. So that's what we eating. Meatloaf and look at the vegetable. Uh-oh, look at the vegetable, gumbo, mac and cheese, meatloaf. I think that's a darn good meal. What do you think? Okay. So it's almost done if you can smell the scent, the smells in this kitchen. Oh, my God. It smells delicious in here. I smell in here, Victor. Yeah, smells awesome, don't it? Yeah. See, this lady here know how to cook, okay? And I'm telling you guys, if you follow me, you're going to learn how to cook too. And it's not hard. I don't know why people think cooking is so hard. If you just follow my directions and what I'm giving you, okay, you'll be able to put a meatloaf together too. And you see that meatloaf look good, don't it? 
thought so. Hey, like, share, and share it out to your friends. I know you have friends that don't know how to cook, okay? That want to learn. And this is a simple meal. This is not, this wasn't even a hard meal to put together, you guys. It was just simple, okay? My meatloaf is almost done. My family's getting ready to eat. And then believe me, they ready because the smell is all the way upstairs, okay? I mean, the smell is all the way upstairs. That's how good my food food smells. I've had people that live behind me when I was cooking Caribbean fish. i never forget it. Uh, one of Victor's friends, Luis, I'd open the door and I was just airing it out because it got a little smoke in here and he could smell it. Next thing I know, he was knocking on the front door saying, oh, it smell like you're cooking that Caribbean fish again. I said, come on in, Luis. They don't live over here anymore, but they used to eat here often, okay? Most of my kids' friends ate here all the time. I'd go pick them up from school, and I have a load full of kids. Not just my kids, but their friends. And I was like, where are you guys going? Or are we going home with you? And I was like, do your mom know that you're going home with me? Yeah, I already told them. We already talked to them. She said it was okay. A lot of times I would call the parents to see if it was okay. And they would say, yeah, that's no problem. And I'd feed them along with my kids. And those are things that those kids, as they grow up and they get older, they'll never forget you. I'm telling you. My kids now, and I call them all my kids because Dylan is a police officer now. And uh, Cody and Louise and. All them, uh, Eric and Teddy, all them grew up over here. And uh, Daryl and, you know, Jamaica. They all grew up over here and they all grew up eating my food. You know, my adopted son came in from Nigeria and he still comes to visit me today, him and his family. And I'm telling you, when they come, they're ready to eat. That's when you know you can cook, okay? They come, and, and my my girlfriends, all I have to do is tell them, hey, you know what? I'm cooking. I'm doing a fish fry, or I'm cooking. Y'all coming? Yeah, they're coming. They're not going to even hesitate. Yeah, we'll be there. So, I'm going to do, like I said, it's going to be a third video once this meatloaf comes out. Well, it may not. I might just put you on pause and see how it goes, but I really need to call my mom back because she done called twice. So, it's going to be a third video. You'll be able to see the food once it's done. Okay. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe to my channel, you guys. Okay.